TMZ.com. Three forty-five p.m. PT. John has just broken his silence on the situation, saying Hess disappointed in himself for letting people down. Here's the full statement issued through Don Srep Denise White. While we all work to understand and cope with stress and uncertainties surrounding the current state of our world, I want to express how truly disappointed I am that I have become the source of a negative headline again, especially during these trying times. I am disappointed for letting down the people I care about the most, my family, friends and my fans. This morning I entered into a plea deal with the Albuquerque DA's office. I accept full responsibility for my actions and I know that I have some personal work to do to which involves the unhealthy relationship I have with alcohol. I have dedicated so much time and energy to improve my community, and I will not allow this personal setback to hinder my work within the community when we need it most. I truly appreciate the support I have received from the community of Albuquerque and all my fans around the world. I very much look forward to putting this behind me. Thank you all for your continued love and support and please take care of yourselves. UFC superstar John Jones has pled guilty to driving while intoxicated stemming from a March 26 arrest in New Mexico, officials tell TMZ Sports. The reigning UFC light heavyweight champ has struck a deal with prosecutors in which he agreed to one year supervised probation. The sentence has not yet been approved by a judge but that's just a matter of time at this point. As part of the deal, Jones will serve 96 hours in a community custody program, which is a form of incarceration, but not in a traditional jail cell. We're told it's similar to house arrest. He will wear an ankle monitor, which allows authorities to make sure he doesn't leave his residence unless he has permission. Officials say Jones will be ordered to complete a minimum of 90-day outpatient treatment, maximum fines and fees, community service and all other requirements of reporting to probation. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, officials are allowing Jones to participate in the outpatient program via video conferencing. As for the community service, Jones must complete 48 total hours. Jones must also install an ignition interlock device in any vehicle he operates, which requires him to complete a breathalyzer, to test for alcohol, before the car will start. His attorney and Mr. Jones have been made aware that if he fails to do this, the state will seek to impose the balance of any jail time without regard for any exceptional circumstances, officials say. Get this, officials will allow Jones to use marijuana during his probation, as long as he has a valid medical card. As we previously reported, Jones was arrested around 1 a.m. on March 26 after cops responded to reports of gunfire in the Albuquerque area. When cops found Jones alone in his Jeep, he appeared intoxicated and admitted to drinking earlier in the evening. As for the other charges, which include negligent use of a deadly weapon and open containers, 
those will be dropped in exchange for Jones' guilty plea on the DWI. Gallery Launch Gallery John Jones Fight Photos Launch Gallery Gallery Getty Originally published, 2.44 p.m. PT